Good morning. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I'm not sure if the sun rise is being done justice by this camera, but it is amazing. Interesting night, actually. We ended up on a lee shore, which meant that I just chose last night to do anchor watch all night. It's, it's actually not that bad. I, the anchor alarms are all set and if we move more than 50 meters, all hell breaks loose and they do work. Morning. We are currently sailing up the Malacca Strait. And when I say sailing, I do mean sailing. Engines are off. And we have 10 knots of apparent wind speed. We're doing seven knots. We're hoping that we can just sail for as long as possible and uh, you know enjoy the conditions while we can. We 7.5 knots, nice. We uh, apparently are punching tide. According to my sources, we are punching about a knot of tide, but that's not how it feels at the moment. So maybe I've got my tidal calculations wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. So we are sailing up the Malacca Strait today. We are on a mission to get to Langkawi ASAP. We have about 300 and I think 60 miles to Langkawi, so it's a fair distance. And we've just come from Pattaya, so we had to cross the Gulf of Thailand. We had to sail all the way down the uh, east coast of Malaysia, which was really beautiful, although we did it very quickly. And then we transited the Singapore Strait, and that was really exciting. We loved that. That was um, quite the thrill. Now we are in the Malacca Strait, which is the busiest shipping lane in the world. We are just skirting the shipping lanes to stay clear of the fishing nets, which apparently are rampant around here. Uh, so we want to stay as offshore as we can without getting into the shipping lanes themselves. For those of you who look for continuity errors, you're like, haha, you must have filmed this at a different time. I had a shave this morning. <laughs> so I actually literally, I literally went because of my beard was like, itchy and now I shaved. So it's not a different day. It's the same day. We had the uh, screecher out, the screecher was doing very well, but then we tend to furl it away when it hits 12 plus. Got to 14 and it just wasn't making the angle, so furled it away, got the jib out. There is some questions as to the tides and the currents here. We believe that Windy seems to have a good and predict wind have got correct tide, so we are punching about a knot of tide uh, and current now which means that we're hitting seven knots, but we're getting knocked back by one. So this will change in about two or three hours, and then we should pick up fair tide, which means that this afternoon we hope to be going at a fair clip. A fair clip. So we're doing 90 minute watches. The Admiral has just decided to, she's going to do some uh, research stroke scrolling, I believe. She's reading the news. What's happening in Australia? Any cats caught up trees? Any koalas with burnt paws? No, just a generational housing crisis. <laughs> Anyway, there's uh, onboard news, uh, world news, uh, life news, and uh, we'll be back again with more updates, well, shortly. The pizza, pizza brunch. So things to do on a big fancy boat with a big fancy oven and a a lot of time to spare because we have to motor sail up the Strait of Malacca. It's pizza, pizza brunch. The Admiral has decided that she is going to be on the trampolines reading her book for her off watch. And uh, while I'm on on watch, if I'm on watch, it is time to make pizza. I didn't even have an oven on my first, but I had a spirit still. Here we are, mini pizza. Grace. There you go. Thank you. Grace, you almost lost your Kindle. It literally just went bounce okay. off. The... That would have been savage. Very. Oh, it feels delicious. Oh, you don't burn yourself. It's still hot, okay? Pizza on the trampolines. <laughs> yes, it's a hard life with sailing shenanigans, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Do not lose the plate. Well, I'm oh, going to go back and carry on doing the keeping the boat running. You may go. All right, pizza snack and carry on with my watch. It is 1.30 and we have picked up, I think, some tide, which is lovely. Very good feeling. We're doing eight and a half knots and we've got about 28 miles to go. We had a pretty rolly night last night, so I'm hoping that tonight is an, an improvement on that. But 
We get what we get. Well, I read about this on a cruiser's forum about watermaker filters and how you clean them. Someone just said, just turn behind your boat. Obviously tied on. But there's a lot of silt in the water. And it's actually it's so warm that the algal growth is just insane. So we, uh, that's a week old. cleaner and it doesn't seem to have as much crap in it but it's never going to be pristine white but I'll put it back in <sighs> okay day one of the Malacca Strait done we did 70 miles today average speed was about I think 7.1 we have pulled into this island for the night called Palau Bessa, I think B-E-S-A-R and uh, you know we're just here for one night it's a pretty little anchorage we've definitely got some swell coming into the anchorage wind is apparently shifting around um, I think it's in the process of doing that right now but we're gonna have like a tide versus wind situation which I think is gonna mean that we're rolling around a little bit tonight that's okay We've done that plenty of times before and at least we're in a catamaran these days it used to be that we were in a monohole no stranger to tidal anchorages um at all so all good we're just glad that we're making some progress and you know we just keep saying to each other every mile we do is a mile closer to phuket which is a mile closer to getting to the med which we're really really excited about so we are just going to have a quiet evening um trying to get some sleep and um yeah get up and crack on tomorrow morning tomorrow's a shorter day thank god it's only i think 30 30 miles and a big treat tomorrow we're going into a marina i cannot wait it's a treat but we also need diesel <laughs> so it's a necessary treat that however sounds like the sound of a pie being cooked sounds like my beef pie being cooked it's just that i'm getting out of temperature don't we getting too excited it's not ready you have to wait your pizza today was good i appreciated that I kind of think that what I need to do with that is brush the uh, crust with a little bit of olive oil. I see. We also need some oregano. Well, we're in Malaysia. No, but you, you can get it dried in a hussif mug. I don't mean like fresh herbs. Well, we get to Greece. Greece is the word. I'm going to buy some big basil plant and just have it like sitting in the corner. Well, in all fairness, all I would say to you about that pizza dough crust, like, mm -hmm. it's a little bit rolling out. Okay. A little bit rolling out. A bit more olive oil on the crust, fresh oregano. Wallop. <laughs> I think you're craving some like non-Asian food. When we ship this, all this has got to be gone. I know, we've got to eat it all. We've got more, we have more cheese than the French embassy. Well, I'm fine with that. Well, we have to eat the cheese. I think we're up for that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to say good night and uh, we'll see you again in the morning for more motor sailing down the Malacca Strait. Yeah. Had a respectable and very, very, very calm night last night. Wind settled down. I went to sleep at about 11 uh, p.m. And honestly, I slept like a dead. I must have been absolutely exhausted. I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. I'm like, bloody hell, like straight eight hours sleep. Apparently, this is some, some abandoned community here that. It, very, very big mansions on the beach and no one living there. Don't tell Therese, but today's smoothie is whatever I find in the fridge that actually needs to be consumed. It's Greek yogurt, uh, honey, blueberries, soy milk, and oats. Nice smoothie. And we are on our way. So we are under motor, very little wind today. I think what, what wind we have, we're practically, um, we're making ourselves. So we've got apparent wind speed of seven-ish. Got the jib and the main out. And uh, we've got one and a half knots of tide against us, or almost, I think 1.8 knots of tide against us. So it will be slow going this morning and that's gonna turn around midday. And so hopefully, 
we'll get a little bit of that on our run up to Port Dixon. I'm hoping it's only about 30, oh, maybe 40 miles because we have to go out towards the shipping lane and then come back in. So yeah, obviously at five and a half knots, that's going to take a while, but hopefully as the day goes on, we'll pick up some speed as the tide turns and uh, we'll get into the marina, hopefully kind of early to mid afternoon. So lots of cargo ships here in the Strait of Malacca. We're obviously in the inshore area. So this one's at anchor here. You can see the chain coming out of the boat and into the water, but we are making our way towards the shipping lanes. We're not gonna go into them, but we are making our way in that direction just to stay away from all the fishing boats and the fishing nets. I'm pottering. Why is the potter on your own boat? So pottering, just cleaning, doing the laundry, uh, the laundry's being done, you get the towels washed, giving everything a little clean, just tidied some stuff up, polished the fridge door with stainless steel pipe. But now it is breakfast, breakfast for the Admiral. She has put a request in, the request for this morning is uh, bacon bagel, that's what she's getting. So she said, uh, I want bacon bagel and a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. On one side. Mm -hmm. Pink Floyd, that's the one. Well, so far, and knock on wood, the Malacca Strait seems to be fairly straightforward and easy. We've had all sorts of wind conditions. We had about 17 knots this morning. Perfect sailing breeze. But we've also had literally like flat calm seas and, and it's all been pretty light winds um, on the whole. It's just really nice to be kind of close to the shipping lanes. I quite enjoy watching the ships go by. It's nice to kind of have that company sometimes. And we are only about 20 miles away from the marina because as I've said, we're staying in a marina tonight. The thing that I'm a little surprised that we're dealing with is the tides. It is full moon at the moment. So that might explain uh, part of why the tides are so strong, but we're having like two knot, two knot tides at the moment, um, which is certainly more than I expected. Just cracking on with it really. Very calm, very easy, very smooth, beautiful weather. So far so good. We're heading into the marina. We've got a marina. Marina boat for a couple of nights. We have a list of hardware items to buy that is extensive. Mostly water filters and nuts and bolts and bits, but you know, we'll see what we can get. Um, we need some fresh fruit. We need fresh fruit. We need bananas, mangoes, pears. One of these is fake. Pears. Pears, it's pears, only a couple of pears. So anyway, yeah, so we're gonna be in a marina for two nights. We have to edit videos because we've got to bring you videos and we are woefully behind. Yeah, and we do. have, and more importantly, we have a woeful lack of internet. Yeah. So we need um, we need a big regrets over the lack of styling. Okay, we've got to get our main sail down then. Yeah, I always forgot that. Though. You did almost forget. All right, main sail down, off we go. Designation is on either the piles, or I can see three members of staff right next to the three tiered boat to the left. Can you see that? Over. Yeah, I was just using binoculars to confirm they look like they're waiting for us. Over. Yeah, that's fine. They've got you sorted. There's someone on starboard as well, just keeping an eye on everything. Okay, okay. We are tied up in Admiral Marina, which is a beautiful facility. Like there was some super, like everyone is so enthusiastic and trying to get the boat in. I'm, I'm very, very grateful for the help that we were given. And uh, these people are so kind of, everyone in Malaysia has been super kind. This looks like an amazing facility. The girl that we've been talking to, Sarah, came down. She's organized the diesel for us. She's organized everything else. Time for a cold drink. Yeah. Some iced tea in the fridge. Lovely shower. Lovely shower. Quick nap and aircon. Oh. Good afternoon. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. is frothy time. Frothy time, beer time. Time for us to go for a beer. It's been a bloody hectic day on Ruby Rose. I was in the supermarket at nine o'clock this morning provisioning. 
Uh, back at 11 and Teresa's been editing all day and what else have we done Teresa? You spent some time in the dinghy trying to fix the steering wheel. Yeah they can't get the fit the steering mechanism in our high for a dinghy console is up the fritz so I did some emergency repairs on that cleaned the boat got a few things sorted out and yeah. then refueled. We refueled yeah god it's been busy like a day in a marina you think oh there's a pool there apparently I'm not really bloody seen the damn thing and yeah today tonight we are going to go for a refreshing lager oh, we have a lovely refreshing beer but then in addition to our lovely beer. refreshing lager there is um, a buffet now it is ramadan they all have to wait till about i think about eight o'clock until they eat tonight and so there's a full-on a massive buffet which uh we went to last night we got to take the camera because too busy scoffing <laughs> and um we thought well we'll take you tonight because actually it's fun wasn't it the malaysians are such a friendly bunch of people yeah. And uh, the food was amazing. Food so, was really good. so yeah, we'll take you to show you our our buffet this evening. And actually, you know what? There's a pub here that smells like a pub. Hello. So, yeah, two cars works and some peanuts, please. Wait, we have all the buffet to eat from. Hey, let's do it. Let's go and eat. Amazing. I don't understand what any of the labels are. No, me but I've got some basmati rice, I've got some curry. Teresa's got some vegetables. Yep. Outside there's a uh, like a, a, a barbecue station, there's a dessert station, there's a roti station, there's all the stations. And honestly, it's amazing, amazing food. It's very, very spicy though. It's pretty Is it? Yeah, me and my cup. Or the curry. Oh, I haven't had that. But no, it's amazing. So there you go. Anyway. End of I think it sounds very beautiful. Mm, very dull. Very doleful, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Sounds amazing. 